Gotta love a boat show. This is a pretty amazing one. Sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes it's just for, just for fun, but we're on an unbelievable 151 foot burger that was built, when I first saw the boat on the docks, so it was like, well, built somewhere between the last 100 years and five years ago. It's like really an impossible boat to age because of this timeless design, these, all the beautiful woodwork, but then again, all these modern features. In fact, the boat was built in 2009 and then refit again in 2019. Burger is a, a famous American builder built out of Wisconsin and the boat was refit down here, uh, down South Florida, actually in Fort Lauderdale. And this is every bit a super yacht. I think the current owner has had the boat for the last uh, last two years. It's done some chartering, not too much. They say with four staterooms, really uh, predominantly used for eight people. But again, as you can imagine, a boat of this size, plenty of opportunity to stash a few kids here and there. Down below, there's uh, three unbelievable staterooms, but we're gonna go right ahead to the master. It's a, a really striking image of the uh, of the boat down in the keys, just so you could further appreciate the profile. I usually have a rule against going in through all the heads, but uh, this this one's this one's worth checking out. All the typical cliches about headroom and everything else just really goes out the window with a boat like this. And the good news for, for those that are interested and those that are scouring the docks for, uh, for the next yacht, this one is available. They're asking 22 and a half million. What's that expression of, uh, if you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it, probably rings true here. Let's get right to the heart of the matter. There's, there's are, there are a lot of people on the boat right now, including seven working crew. So we're gonna try to sneak past and get, take a look at the engine room. Hello. Unbelievable. I take note here, it's, uh, this is the fill for, for clean oil. So obviously you're, if you're running a lot in a boat of this size, clean oil is key, just like on any boat. So just like your local Jiffy Lube or anything like that, that's where oil is filled and that's the dirty oil will come out here. Uh, Cat C18s, uh, 600 horsepower a piece. Not a speed demon, as you can tell, it's not what she's built for. About a 12 knot cruise, 14 knots at the top end. What I love about this boat is, compared to all the other boats we see at shows, I mean, it's like, you can see how an engine room is really kept. 
You got your logs, small little owner's manual here, just a couple details. Hard hats, ear protection, tools absolutely everywhere. Everything in its rightful place. Watch your step. Again, always constantly, the crew is even busy as we speak, even during a boat show. You know, grease and rust and varnish never sleeps. So the crew's working away. Pretty amazing. And we'll make our way back up. Obviously, the helm, probably, probably besides the engine room, uh, one of my favorite spaces coming up here. At this kind of private lounge. A lounge slash office space. In the summer, the boat lives in Maine and then comes down towards water, warmer weather in the winter, obviously, but just a really cool, sophisticated space. They said sometimes the the current owner he'll uh, he'll have a lot of staff on here, or or you know, at different business ventures, and some of the personal assistants will come in here and work, and this will be kind of a, a bit of a war room. I feel like just even just writing a story in here. I feel like it would, it would just have to come out better. I mean, this this is what an office is all about. I need an upgrade. Prerequisite hot tub. One of the things I thought was kind of funny before we were going through the boat with the captain and he was literally inspecting each groove here on the table looking for dust feeling the finish keeping up a boat like this is just non-stop constant work keeping it up to the level that really is expected of it you know he's kind of feeling under under the cabinets look, looking for any dust anything that needs to be refinished a couple of cannons on the side and bar stools just uh just a thing of beauty. Let's head on up to the bow. Popular question of boats of this size and scale one that I couldn't help but ask, fuel capacity. Any guesses? A modest 4,300 gallons of fuel. Another interesting fact that we came across from the previous owner, uh, for, from the captain about the previous owner, is that this is, before this, you only had sailing yachts. This is his first power first power boat. I don't know if you can, can you call it that? They have uh, a joy, you know, they have a wireless joystick system that allow you to kind of dock the boat for anywhere, which is essential boat on a boat this size. But you do have this really cool forward helm. I think this is probably mostly be used underway, but uh, again, it's kind of a work of art. Any good boat? has a windlass.
and thinking about if I were to uh, trade in my day job and, and become a captain of a boat like this, I think this is probably the one that would uh, make me lose the most sleep. So, so again, I hope you really, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this quick look as much as I have. This again, if you're at the Palm Beach Boat Show, come by, tell them Dan sent you, and. Uh, yeah, a lot more to see at the show. Stay tuned.